So if you've got a Butler installed system that's got the smart vent fresh air damper and you want to upgrade to anything other than the old TS40B Honeywell or whatever your house came with, um, such as this Ecobee that I have here, you are going to need to go through a couple of steps. Uh, undoubtedly, if you've tried to install a Nest, it doesn't work. And that's because the zone control board in the attic is likely a ZTEC. And whereas your air conditioner requires 24 volts, and this is a 24 volt board, they've made it proprietary and they only push 12 volts to the old thermostat on the wall. So when you go to install any of these, it, it gives you errors and you just can't make it work. So the only solution, uh, especially if you, uh, if you want to install a new uh, smart thermostat or if you want to keep your smart vent working, is you're going to have to get a new zone control board. And there is one on the market, fortunately, that is uh, made by EcoJ that supports a fresh air damper, whether it's Butler Smart Vent or uh, another brand. Um, so this is the new board, and basically you'll have to swap that board out. So here's the literature that comes with it. You can see it, su it supports the fresh air damper. Now, EcoJ claims, uh, they're great people, I've talked to them on the phone, that this board itself will control the dampener with, uh, you can do it with a switch or an enthalpy um, setup if you're in a humid climate. I'm in California, so I don't worry about that too much. Uh, however, I wanted to control it with a thermostat. So the Ecobee has a function called free cooling, and it's um, configured off of the accessory wire on the back of the Ecobee. So if you've got four, four wire or five wires there, you'll need six. If you've got four, you'll need five in order to be able to use the Ecobee thermostat and, and control the smart vent. So basically what'll happen is you will input, um, you will hook up, replace the zone control board. It's pretty, pretty similar, you know, plug in, input for input there. But then when you get down here to the advanced features section, the industry term for a smart vent or a fresh air dampener is an economizer. So you'll need to take the uh, accessory plus, you know, output from the Ecobee and input it into economizer. And then the EcoJ zoning control board will control your dampener, open and close it. You'll be able to control it from the actual Ecobee. And so that's what I'm gonna attempt to do today. All right, so here we are up in the attic. Here's the old smart vent control board. There's the two zone HVAC control with smart vent. Um, this is the actual uh, vent up here. This is the power which they're jumping from the thermostat or from the actual unit. This is an outside air temp sensor that's no longer used. I believe that is our thermostat. So we'll replace that with the EcoJ and do a little bit better job than mounting it. Okay, it's taking me a little bit, but I've got the EcoJ board installed now. So this is, just kind of go over the wiring here. This is the EcoB PEK or power extender kit. So I got five wires going to my thermostat, but I physically used the four and plugged them into their corresponding colors and then put the PEK into the thermostat here, okay? because I've got a zone control board. I took the blue from the thermostat downstairs that I'm using on the Y to trigger, that's my accessory plus to trigger the smart vent. I've got my 24 volt power. Then over here, I've got my uh, sensor that comes with the EcoJ installed. I've got my, uh, to my HVAC unit here, I've actually got blue to common, yellow to Y1, G to green, W to Y1. I've got it in the RH terminal because um, that's how my old unit was set up. Down here on the damper, I've got the damper sorted out. So on the smart vent based on the diagram, uh, white was open, green was closed, and red was common. So I'm getting ready to plug it in and get started. And here it is with the Ecobee up and running. Uh, everything worked, didn't have to change anything, and it's going good.